All right, so we have a good two, well, it's not necessarily a good two drop, but we have a two drop that isn't the Amalgam. We can play the Amalgam hopefully with the, uh, the, the, the freebooter to generate more resources. And dude, I don't know why my, um, my stream is doing it again. The analytics say that the stream has been live since 7 p.m., which is just not true, which makes this whole graph look super warped. Not super important for you guys, it's just kind of interesting to look at. But we're gonna try to finish this as quickly as possible. I think we actually play this Amalgam, if this survives, before we play the Cannoneer. Because I'd like to generate more stuff. And then turn four, we can do this plus a one attack weapon, which I think is a pretty good. Maybe we can get a one mana card. Uh, this gives us deck information and it's pretty good stats. And I don't necessarily need the weapons and I don't want to give them a weapon. So we'll just take the Scoundrel uh, and hit him in the face for two. How did we get the ETC card? Just by logging in. You log in, ETC is yours. The, the, it's, um, I think you have to log in before the new expansion fully drops. But yeah, it's free. I don't even know if that's necessarily true. As long as you just log in. I know yesterday there were some issues for mobile players. But as long as you um log in, you should be good to go. This is fine. We'll play the Defias Cannoneer. And we'll get the weapon, hit him in the face. Hopefully one of the cannonballs hits the 2-4. Then we can trade here. This lives, that lives. If none of them hit the 2-4, then we have a bit of a problem. If neither of them hit the 2-4, then we have a bit of a problem. Okay, one of them does hit it, which is perfect. Next turn, we can go this. Then the turn after, it's this and this. And if they ever build a wide board, this has Brawl in it. So this is what we're saving Brawl for. Or if we get a 3 draw, Ooh! What do I want to play here? I could play the Anchorman. That's definitely an option. It could just immediately die and we don't draw a card, but... I'm gonna hit first, then play this. It's fine. It's no big deal. If they end up instantly killing it with a removal card, that's fine. We're still gonna finish our quest relatively soon. We still have several different things that can get me there, so it's fine. There is no ma Oh, they do kill it immediately with the Death Strike. That's actually kind of upsetting. I mean, as I said, I'm actually fine with it. It's just a little bit sad that they were able to get it. I didn't expect that. Mr. Smite, good for burst damage later, although Patchwork could easily wreck me here. Let's play this, and then we'll go Amalgam of the Deep. So I'm gonna get Patchwork before they are. Yeah, let's go with the Amalgam. I was thinking if I want to attack first, I probably should have attacked first before playing the 6-5, but it's fine. Then we're gonna do this, we'll play the Obsidian Smith later on. This is for one mana? Yeah, we'll take one mana. I guess technically the mistake might have been better, I don't know. What's your record with this deck? Um, it's one and one, although I was playing it uh, yesterday and it also went like one and one or two and two or something like that. I don't fully remember. The Hearthstone deck tracker wasn't working yesterday for those of you who uh, didn't know. But I'll play Patchwork, I'll hopefully snipe something good and then Cargo Guards... Definitely not the worst thing in the world, but we'll uh, we'll play this. We're not going to attack with the weapon yet because there are some weapon synergies in this deck. We get Soul Stealer and Brand. Brand's pretty good. They play Patchwork here. Honestly, I don't really care what it hits, to be honest. Okay, hits the one drop, which is the worst one. We lose that, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, we lost the one drop. That's not great. So, okay, so I want four mana left so we can play this, this, this. And then we can play you. Okay, we'll play the pirate, or we'll draw a pirate, sorry. Ooh, wait a minute. No, it's still it's still not doable. We'll do this to dredge something to the top, and then we'll play uh, ETC. I'll take probably Defias Cannoneer for some extra burst damage to try to finish him off. And then we're gonna go ETC. And we're going to take because we need- Oh, wait, it's a Disruptive Spellbreaker, not Rancor. I forgot about that. We don't need Brawl. I wanted to take the South Sea Captain, so turn 10 I can go Mr. Smite and this with a pumped up thing. And that's at least like 11 damage of burst with these two cards combined. So I kind of want to just take the South Sea Captain. So we'll take that to try to burst him down. And then uh, I'll wait one more turn before hitting. I don't need to hit yet. You might be wondering, what do you mean you don't need to hit? Oh, that's a good card for them. But you might be wondering, why don't I need to hit? And it's because, like, if I end up drawing a Fogsail Freebooter or, like, a Hook Fist, I guess I I, I know I'm going to be drawing the, um, the Defias Cannoneer, actually. I guess we play you. <laughs> and then we play Rokara. 
I want to play it with Bran, but unfortunately we don't have Bran or to the front, so it's really not worth it to like stall out or anything. I'm going to trade my 2-1 in because I don't want them to get any more lifesteal. Play Rokara, play this, hit him in the face, deal some decent damage, and now the infinite damage from Rokara is going to stack up, and we have this extra pirate as well. No hair gel today? No. I didn't want to put in hair gel today. I actually kind of liked it, like, the way that it woke up. Or, I liked the way it looked when I woke up, so I decided to keep it like this. 3-2, that's a 3-4, okay. Hit this. I don't want them to kill anything else off and then this is hero power. I think what I'm waiting for now is it to the front. So it's going to be 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, and then something else. That's just a lot of burst if we can get it to the front. Also, Forged in Flame for some card draw. Hook, uh, hook Fist, also decent card draw. Nelly would allow me to do a lot of damage as well. I don't really care about Alexandros at all. How much damage can I get here? Give me like a South Sea Captain or something over this. That's... Not the greatest. Okay. Obsidian Smith. Okay, how much damage do I have here? Definitely not 40 damage. That's not gonna happen. So let's go uh, hit here, and then we'll hit with the weapon. Let's do this and dredge something to the top. I guess maybe I shouldn't have played Obsidian Smith because I, I know what's at the bottom. I guess gaining some armor is fine. Then it's gonna go this bonks here. This goes face. And then we'll play the uh, the Freebooter Hero Power, and then this will go face for a good chunk of damage. We already got rid of one of their Soul Stealers, so I think that this is actually a pretty sticky board for them. Obviously, they could have, like, Corpse Explosion, which would suck, but, I mean, if they play Corpse Explosion, it's not that big of a deal. Because their thing will almost die as well. Blood Boil? Okay, several of my things live. Several of the cards actually just straight up live here. And then they're going to hero power kill the 2, 3, and then they're going to kill my 4, 5. I guess. That's fair. I'm fine with that. They heal up a good amount. But again, we're going to get infinite value, and we're going to run out of cards after them. Forged in No, we already know we're not going to get forged in Oh, this is really good, though. Oh, this is really, really, really good. Um, Armor. This goes here so they don't lifesteal anymore. Draw an extra card. Ooh. We get brand. So Bran doesn't really do anything anymore. Bran, like, genuinely does nothing. Um, I guess it can combo with the Freebooter. It can combo with the Scamp. And it can combo with the the Freebooter here. But it's, it's not really good enough. I might as well play it to, like, bait them into thinking they need to kill it. Because Bran is mostly in here to get two Juggernauts. And I guess it can combo with Nelly late game. Maybe I could have saved it for Nelly. Maybe that would have been smarter, I don't know. But I just wanted to make it seem like they needed to get rid of cards. I'm looking for Forged in Flame so we can draw a bunch. Okay, that's huge. That would draw me seven cards. Okay, so this goes here. This draws me a pirate. <laughs> Actually, an insane draw. Or an insane card here. And it's Harbor Scamp, which is amazing. Draw me another card. Stonewall Anchorman. It'll at least draw me a card, because they have very few ways of killing this off, I think. So, to the front, along with Nelly, pirates could be a lot of burst. Oh my god. I'm pretty pissed. I did not expect a Sylvanas. I don't think people usually run Sylvanas in a 30-card version. I don't. I basically never do. I don't think it's very good to run it in a 30-card uh, version. Ooh, that is a awful one to get. This is when we're going to draw Forged in Flame, and it's going to be useless. Oh, cool. No, never mind. So let's see here. Boom, boom. This goes... Wait, we want this to live. This goes here. If it draws me Hook Fist, we're super... No, I have to attack to draw. Oh. I'm the one that has to attack to try to get Hook Fist. So then if I draw, I'm not actually going to end up playing it. It forces more removal out, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know how I'm supposed to win the game other than trying to just burst them down. Okay, no muncher. Definitely is not good. And they're killing off my 5-3. That hits the 4. Kill the 5-2, please! Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it! Yeah, that's big. And we get forged in flame. Okay, so... 
At this point, I think we can almost assuredly win. Do I want to draw another card here? Yeah, let's just draw as many cards as possible so we can maybe burst him down with it to the front in a second. I'm going to almost... I Because I forgot I drew a card over this. Um, We're going to play Nelly. Forge and Flame and a 1-drop. And then we're going to look for as many pirates as we can possibly get. You're good. You'll be one mana, which is fantastic. Although, you're also going to be one mana, and you're guaranteed damage, and we can get something from their deck. Yeah, let's take that, actually. You're the highest statted thing, although you do damage across the whole board, so we'll take that, because it can be direct damage. And then another Mr. Smite. Another Mr. Smite's actually pretty huge, because we can make that one four mana. But I need to make sure I have to the front, so we're going to do that. Um, and then we're going to hit with both of these. And then we're going to try to burst him down with this extra one drop as well with a cheap Mr. Smite. Okay. This is very winnable. This is very winnable with burst damage. Another corpse explosion would suck. How much burst damage do I even have here? Mr. Smite with this and several, several pirates off of this. I'm sorry I stopped paying attention to chat. I got like wrapped up into this game. This game is not doomed. Okay, they only got one taunt minion. Okay, this game is like moderately doomed, but not super. Oh, they're gonna just concede! This would have rushed in, this goes in, we have room to play Mr. Smite or something. Yeah, that would have actually been, would have been game, because we trade Nelly in as well. Wow. This is not bad. We I actually like this entire hand. Turn one, turn two, turn three is this coin deck hand, and then also play the weapon. But thank you so much for the gifted subs, oh, Lauren. What uh, website do I use for the stats? It's called HS Replay. You, it'll be in my description. There's a link you can down. That's where this deck tracker is from as well. The one that's on the side. Fog sail freebooter. That's fine. We play you. We draw a card, Mr. Smite. I guess that's fine. But yeah, that's where the uh, the deck tracker is from as well. And if you download using my link. The stats help me out. What? Murloc Holmes, you know what? Oh, it's Kipper! Oh! You guys can't see it. Let me, let me remove my face. Oh, this game is being kept regardless of a win or loss. <laughs> regardless of winning or losing. We're keeping it in there. Actually, just in case you guys missed it, it says Kibler. You guys don't need to see my face for this one. You just need to see Kibler's name. Actually, I can do both. I can just move my face down a little bit. Now you can see. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be a banger. I can already see it now. Ecor beats or loses to either or. Kibler. Uh, okay, so we're going to take the freebooter. And then do I want to coin out the deck hand is the question. If I coin out the deck hand and then I play the one drop weapon, I can play this and this together next turn, which is pretty good. So let's do that. Then this is going to hit... Because the three four is going to be a little bit more awkward to kill, and then we're going to play the weapon after, so we don't lose a durability. I'm trying to think if it's worth it to maybe kill the three four, but I can hit it with the freebooter or my weapon next turn, so I actually don't think it's that important to kill. I'd rather just kill this off, and then we're going to coin out this and then play the weapon, and then this two two stays alive and we go face. I also don't know what deck they're going, so or what deck killer's going, because I'm not going to like stream snipe or anything. But yeah, I didn't want to lose a durability on this because I have I have minions with with weapon synergy. But if they have good removal, I guess this could backfire. But I don't know. Nobody in if anybody in chat tells me what deck killer's going or like what's in his hand or anything like that, I'm I'm putting you in timeout. That's just that's just I I want to keep the integrity of this game intact, okay? Because this, this is a great game. It's gonna be a great game. I can already I can feel it in my loins. I realized I forgot to enable gifted subs. Oh my gosh, Blazing Phoenix, you fool. So, 3-1, this stays alive. 2-1 goes here, and then ping it with Freebooter. And then do I want to go with the Amalgam, or do I want to go Obsidian Smith? I'm thinking just discovering a minion is better in, like, every situation here. So let's, uh, pump up a minion. And it goes on Mr. Smite. That's a bit of an unfortunate one, but it's okay. Oh, this was this was ordered wrong. I should have I should have discovered the uh, the pirate first, but it's fine. I don't think it really changes it because I would have made basically the exact same play either way. Okay, so all of these are complete and total doo doo water. I don't really want to give them a weapon. 
haven't played any spells. So I guess this in case he runs a beast? Also, I'm at 18 HP already. What the heck is going on? Did somebody tell me it was in his deck? Somebody said it was a joke. Please don't, please don't put me in timeout. It's okay. Don't worry. Doo-doo water. I know, oh, they were all doo-doo water. On the off chance he's running a beast, I took this. But this, this was not, and I mean, it's a three drop. So worst case, I play Obsidian. No, wait, I have to destroy my own amalgam because it's a beast. Oh no, I have to kill off my own thing. Conde- oh, that was a good ETC card though. Oh my gosh, this hand just keeps getting worse and worse. I guess maybe we could have tried to discover a weapon and then just go, just go fortune and flame. Let's see where it goes. An again on Mr. Smite. I mean, I actually don't even mind that. Oh, we need card draw more than the Defy is canon here. Good God. This makes me sad. Do I play the Glutton? Oh, I don't know what deck they're... Okay. Does Priest have any beasts? They have the Colossal Minion. So this could just eat the Colossal Minion. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate leaving it in my hand. Worst case scenario, on turn eight, I just play it and Rokar on the same turn and we call it a day. Oh no. What? No, 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 I have been absolutely bamboozled. Oh. What a disaster. Oh, jeez. No! No! Oh. Oh, shut up, Kibbler. <laughs> I have a card that actively destroys my own minion. I have Mr. Smite. A useless card that I only want to use later on in the game. Oh. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. If I can get ETC, I can get Brawl. Oh, that's not gonna help me. What do I draw? We get the, ooh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody shush. I can, I can recover from this. Boom, we're going to kill the 4-3, and then we're gonna hit, oh man. I guess we hit this so more things possibly die to the Defias Cannoneer. Please don't hit their face. Oh. Why would you hit their face? Oh, what a disaster. I can't even play this in Rokara next turn. Jeez Louise. Oh, they had it too. Okay, we do get to eat it, which is kind of sick. It's, it's kind of insane. But then they're gonna steal Rokara, I can tell you that with 100% certainty. I mean, I have to play this. Please don't steal my Rokara! <laughs> Astonishing, I know, but it doesn't matter. What are the odds that I'm dead here? No. Don't do it. Okay, that's not, that's not Theotar. I was gonna say, if you play the Oh no, that's fine. Ow, ow, ow. Cargo guard? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Four armor is definitely not enough to keep me alive here. That was well played. That was well played. Okay. On the bright side, we used the Galaka gl Glutton. On the downside, they stole like all of my, the cards I want. Wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought that this copied the last card, I, but no, it says the next card. No, don't do this to me, Kibbler. Just win the game, please. Put me out of my misery. I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. I did not expect Kibbler to BM me. Ah. Oh. This is nine. I mean, that's not nearly enough damage to win, but it's surprisingly close. Oh my God. If it had killed the two one, I actually had lethal. 
Or if this minion had been a better minion. Oh. We were so close! <laughs> we should have lost the game the turn before though, so it doesn't matter. Imagine if we had punished Kibler for BMing me. That would have been so funny. Unfortunately, that's not the way it went. <laughs> All good though. That's a hunter skin? Wait, that's actually pretty sick. I, I approve of that one. We're gonna get- no, we'll keep the freebooter. We don't get the ability off, but all the cheap pirates we can get is, is what I want. Because we want to try to finish that quest as soon as possible. So having two drops is very, very useful. I think in the hunter, because of the hook fist specifically, basically gaining me an extra, I want to say eight armor combined. It, it makes this matchup a lot more winnable. Okay, so it's probably going to be a beast hunter. Nelly's a terrible card to draw at this stage of the game, but you know what? It's fine. I mean, yeah, Nelly is a pretty bad card to draw here. Because, I mean, yeah, we'll play turn 7, and it'll be good. And if we haven't finished the quest already, we'll, we'll finish it there. But it's still a little bit awkward. Sure, we'll play uh, the Obsidian Smith. Don't be the 3-1. The Stag. That's eh, fine. What do I want to play more? Ooh, okay. So now I'm in a bit of a pickle. Harbor Scamp is very good. In the sense that... It draws me extra pirates and helps me finish my quest. Cargo Guard is good because it gives me survivability, but I'm pretty sure we gotta try to finish the quest as quickly as possible here. So that's what we're gonna go for. Hopefully this trade can happen and they just like don't do two damage to my face and they don't have an extra two drop to kill this off with. That's... Fine. That's fine. We play this, they're gonna be forced to trade into it. If they don't kill it, we're gonna play this and a weapon. If they do kill it, we'll play this and this and just get them out on the board. But I don't know. I think that this deck does struggle against things that are fairly aggressive early. So they do kill it. I'll just play two pirates next turn. Maybe we kill the 2-1, actually. The more I think about it, the more I think maybe I kill the 2-1. We'll play Cargo Guard into uh, killing this off, actually. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. We wanted a 3-drop into the weapon anyway. This is the bread and butter of the deck. Right? I don't know why people stopped running the hatchet, but the hatchet on four with a three drop pirate is just so good. This is gonna come alive, we'll we'll ping it for two with this, hit it, and then we'll play this uh, to draw an extra card and maybe get like a blood sail deckhand or something. But anywho, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a good day. Oh, that's rough. That's rough, buddy. That's a feels bad, man. Amalgam? Draw a pirate, we'll discover a pirate as well. Another harbor scamp? Hold up, maybe we just do this then. We don't need the amalgam, let's just draw again. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I made those noises, but I made them! <laughs> that was actually an insane top deck, that's gonna deal two damage. Hopefully it, um... Only one will be left alive, hits this twice, okay, so we get to kill this off. And the board has been completely reset now. I'm actually very happy with the state of the board. And we're hoping to draw a uh, two-drop pirate for turn seven. So you see, the idea, the, the hope is we're able to play Bran plus, um, plus Rokara and everything. But I don't think that's going to end up being the case. We're not going to play the Amalgam either. Let's just draw some cards. We'll play this. Deal two. This goes here. We'll play the Amalgam plus Rokara next turn. And we're gonna draw an extra card, which is nice. This goes face. We'll get Rokara, but yeah, Bran to the front, Rokara, turn seven, amazing. Or turn eight, wait, turn seven, okay, so it's to the front, a pirate, Bran. Okay, so for seven mana, yeah, yeah, I was right the first time. For seven mana, we're able to get, um, we're able to get Rokara out twice and finish the quest all at the same time. Do I wanna play Nelly? Do I ever play Nelly here? I'm trying to think if I ever play Nelly. I think I can afford to play Nelly next turn and try to find Mr. Smite. Let's just kill this off and play Rokara. Yeah, I think that's way better. We just play Rokara and then we hit him in the face. Meta is sadly this right now. Very aggressive. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oops. I was supposed to hit first, so that way if it went on Rokara, um, I'd get the pump. It's fine, though. We're doing some decent damage. We get the infinite value. 
I played a lot of Paladin lately, and it's just so dumb how fast I climbed with it. Yeah, pure Paladin. I made a video on it not too long ago where I went, I went like eight and one with it and just got Legend no problem. Pure Paladin is dummy strong right now. I'm sorry, but can y'all stop complaining about the meta? I'm just, I'm just reading what chat's saying and kind of agreeing with people because I'm trying to be an agreeable person. I don't really have that big of a problem with the meta overall. Like, okay, I will admit some things frustrate me, like how fast I can die sometimes. But like, if you actually look at the meta, one, two, three, four, five, six classes are, are like fairly playable. And if you look at um, the actual stats, like 47% win rate and above, nine of the classes are in that category. Like, that's fine. We know Warrior sucks. It's going to get better. Shaman was nerfed into Oblivion, and the other nine classes are, are fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll play you, though, and get Nelly, and then we'll trade both of these in, kill off a 2-4. We get missed. Okay, so we win the game next turn, assuming we don't die. We'll take Puffer Fist because it's, it's going to be one either way. And we'll take South Sea Captain as well. Um, this is gonna go here, here, here ye, here ye. <laughs> this is gonna go smack, and then I will, I guess, hit this here, because now if the 2-1 hits here, it dies, and I want to get rid of the taunt as quickly as possible. I also want this 1-1 one, one to die to make room for better, uh, minions. But we win the game next turn. We didn't even have to play ETC, but inside ETC, we would have taken the extra pirate, because ETC, that's what he's there for. He's an extra pirate if we need it extra removal, and then we have the Disruptor um, for some disruption as well. Okay, so they're going to kill off basically everything here, but I don't think that it matters. The Rat King is going to come back alive, right? And yeah, this is that hit. It kills this off. 2-1 stays alive. And then I'm going to use this go here, play Mr. Smite, and just win the game. Yep, that was not a surprise. I'm hanging, I'm hanging in Diamond 1 to Diamond 2 right now. Can't say how many games I lost today with Lethal on board because the Death Knight drew Discover card into Blood Boil or Corpse Explosion or something like that. I thought you were going to say they... Oh. Yeah, they're just going to be done because they know I... Oh! Wow! I didn't even realize I got you. But yeah, I thought you were going to say the Frostroom's Fury. 